What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahoney or Tricky Jam at Full Grip Games. Going to be showing off a Naganadel and Guzzlord GX deck today featuring Miss Maggie. Apparently, this deck is being played at the Latin American International Championship, which is going on right now. So I don't know the verdict on this deck yet, whether it's not going, you know, whether or not it's going to end up being uh, a great deck, a meta mainstay, or a total bust. That has yet to be determined, but I know. Uh, at least at the start of the event, Jimmy Pendarvis was off to a solid start with the deck, sponsored by Full Grip Games. Jimmy is uh, one of the best players in the world, so very cool to see him playing such a unique deck. This is not his list exactly. I'm getting this video out. I've just heard about the list. I've seen it played on stream, and this is my attempt to recreate the Naganade Ellen Guzzlord deck that uh, is being seen at the Latin American International Championships. We've got Naganade Ellen Guzzlord GX, got an ability violent appetite. Once during your turn, you may discard a Pokemon from your hand. If you do, heal 60 damage from this Pokemon. Jet Pierce does 180 damage, and that's your main attack that you're gonna be using with this deck. And then Chaotic Order GX just takes two prizes uh, if you have three energy attached. So your main strategy is gonna be to knock out a tag team using Jet Pierce, with a B Springer attached. When you do that, you take a bonus prize. So you take four prizes and then finish the game with Chaotic Order GX. You play a Thick Miss Magius line so you could draw through your deck aggressively and pull off a quick reset stamp to limit your opponent's hand size. And then you use B Strings in order to accelerate energy into play and Dust Stone in order to get your Miss Magius into play. So that is the crux of the deck. I did have some issues figuring out how they fit everything into the list because I know that uh, they play acro bikes and order pads to really play a very, very turbo version of the deck. But I did get to play this a little bit on stream. The deck does work. It takes a very bad matchup to Gardevoir and Sylveon GX. Definitely either produces quick wins or quick losses it can uh, it can definitely get blown out if you don't get the setup right but it is a very explosive fun deck to play and when you do get that pop off uh start it can be quite a force for decks to compete with and it looks like we're playing against an rcs diago palkia deck adb decks are all over the laic as well so i'm interested to see how our miss magius deck Fares against these Arceus Dialga Palkia decks, and we're going first, so that's great. So I do have the option to potentially accelerate some energy into play and maybe outrun my opponent. I mean, that's kind of our thought, is that this is just a really gnarly turbo deck that just gets these really big pop-off wins quickly. And we do have the Ultra Forest Carton Void to deal with Caldeo. That is our out to deal with Caldeo. During this turn, uh, damage from your Ultra Beast attacks not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Pure Heart is technically an effect, so we do get to run through that as well. Let's start with a Tag Call. We're definitely getting a couple of Naganadel and Guzzlords. And then I can probably just Dust Stone and go from there. So we're going to get two of these guys thin the deck a little bit uh, we can dust stone I like that and we're just gonna get ourselves a Miss Magius and accelerate the bench or not accel evolve the bench and then we can mysterious treasure away the Cynthia and Caitlin to be honest that's probably fine but just to get us an additional draw I kind of like that play plenty of Cynthia and Caitlin in the deck I don't actually need to grab anything, and we're just going to Mysterious Message first. And looking up, probably using Bill's Analysis this next turn. So we do have Mysterious Treasure again, an Acro Bike, and Bill's Analysis to try and find myself a second. We can grab this. Second Dust Stone. And we may have to go to four Dust Stone. I did have trouble trying to cram everything into the list. We've got Order Up, knowing that they played all the Order Pads and the Acro Bikes. Totally a turbo list. We did not succeed there, so we will Bill's Analysis. <clears throat> and it's looking like Bill's Analysis and Cynthia and Caitlin are 
the two. And this is fine because so long as my active Mistrevious does not get knocked out this upcoming turn, I am okay to uh, okay to just evolve the active into Miss Magius and then use that that way. And if we find Beast Ring, I can even use Ultra Forest Cartonvoy, uh, which is in my hand, to just knock out this Caldeo on the second turn. So that's pretty sweet. My opponent, getting a little bit of a slower start, has to use Mallow and Lana, switch into Jirachi. They're looking for an Arceus Diagopalkia in order to attach an energy onto, and that tag call is certainly going to help. So we do expect that they'll probably go fetch those out for sure. And we've seen quite a few different builds of Arceus Dagopakia doing well at the Latin American International Championships. I mean, there's some using Ends Resolve. Ends Resolve is very popular. I've seen a lot of Drampa techs in lists as well. I've seen Fion techs for the Doll Stall matchup. Players playing the Lily's uh, Doll for sure. So let's see. We've got this. Uh, what's cool is I can actually just discard the. Uh, Naganate Ellen Guzzlord, and I actually like that. We can just buy an appetite that thing away because we're probably going to just be using this mysterious message first to blow our hand up. So we're going to do that and draw some cards before we do anything else. We've got Dust Stone, Acro Bike. My opponent takes another prize. Now we need to find ourselves Beast Ring. So we can Acro Bike, dig a little bit deeper. We got the Psychic and Mallow and Lana. I think the Mallow and Lana is cool. But I think the Psychic is cooler. All right. And then we're using Bill's analysis to attempt to find the Beast Ring. We got Beast Bringer and an Order Pad. So that's cool. We're going to see if we can find that. Uh, we cannot. So that's not cool. So that's actually kind of lame, but that's fine. We're just going to pass with this thing active. And next turn, we'll get there. Still no B strings yet, but uh, you know, RCS Dialogapakia, kind of a slow burning deck. So we can expect them to probably come into the active and use Alter Creation this next turn. And even though I didn't get out the gates quickly with knockouts, on turn two, missing the uh, B-Strings. Maybe we need to play four B-String in the deck. That's probably correct as well. Like I said, I was just basing this list off of what I thought I had seen on stream at the Latin American International Championships. I wanted to get a video out on it as quickly as possible because it did seem like a cool deck that a lot of pro players are playing. So we wanted to make sure that we got some coverage of this concept since the concept does seem strong. We also are going to want a reset stamp, so that would be that would be very good. We do have the darkness energy, so I don't thankfully do not have to hit anything this turn, uh, and I can use Cynthia and Caitlin. We're going to be discarding the Dust Stone and getting probably Mallow and Lana back from the discard pile, and just really tanking and healing a whole bunch. And we can order pad. I could order pad and find the B string or I can find reset stamp. I think B string is probably better. Well, we're not. That's fine too. Totally, totally fine. So we're gonna tag call. And this is kind of brutal because I do kind of need, in order to use Mallow and Lana, uh, I do kind of need to Um, you know, accelerate to this other Naganate Ellen Guzzlord GX. So we could Jet Pierce. If they hit me, I can Valiant Appetite, take a knockout, but I can't allow this thing to go down is the real issue. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just use Jet Pierce. And we do get to hit for 210, which is cool. Unfortunately, our order pads have not been delivering for us so far. Another weird thing about this deck is that we don't actually have any stadiums. So that's uh, that's like an odd thing. I'm not sure if Jimmy and Co. are playing stadiums in their version of the list. 
I haven't uh, haven't seen too much gameplay of it, so we'll we'll certainly see. Now I can't use Mallow and Lana unless I have like a surge. I can Mallow and Lana twice, which would be kind of neat. So we do need to play Cynthia and Caitlyn this turn and hope that we just draw into a B-string or else we're really in a bad spot. We do have Surge, so that's beautiful. Uh, I can technically Mallow and Lana twice. And we've got the Beast Bringer, so all I need, I actually just need to find, I don't even need to Mallow and Lana, actually. I don't need to heal at all. Oh, yes, I do. I do need to heal, desperately. Because if I do not heal, then... Uh, then my opponent will take game by taking four prizes on my Naganela and Glesslord. So we do need to do that. So I think it's the move is to Surge. Yep, Mallow and Lana. And we are going to discard, switch and discard. We're going to do these guys. Actually don't need this energy either. And we've got the Mallow and Lana again. And this play is absolutely gnarly. Check this out. So we've got that. And I can Violent Appetite this thing too. And so long as my opponent <laughs> doesn't cheese me with a Great Catcher here, uh, I guess I am poised to win the game because I haven't found a Beast Ring yet. So I do still need to find a Beast Ring. There they are. They're all prized. Fantastic. So I do still have an out to win, even if they great catcher up my guy, because I'll just be string energy onto it, and we can retreat it that way. And all I need to do is announce Chaotic Order GX, take my final two prizes, and there we go. A win versus Arceus Dagapalkia. A couple of sketchy things could happen. I guess, you know, Maybe my opponent heals there. If they do heal, it can be a little bit uh, a little bit rough because I'm not taking that knockout. But the thing is that our deck has pretty big ability to heal as well. Violent Appetite on its own is not really enough to... Uh, it's not really enough to get there, right, as far as healing goes. But Ma Violent Appetite combined with Mallow and Lana means that you can heal like 180 damage very easily in a turn and when you're healing 180 damage that's completely wiping away some decks from being able to attack you all together which is a huge deal now we'll see if i get reset stamp this turn some of the adp lists at the laic were not playing reset stamp and we see i am not getting reset stamped here so we are totally fine i'll just be string twice to the active retreat it or be string twice to the active and just use my gx attack i don't need to retreat at all we just got the B-strings. And sure enough, uh, I did prize two B-strings. So that's where those were. And we're going to get the game. So that's it. GG's. And well played, Kingdra. And thank you for a very pleasurable match. All right, Category GX. And we got there. Bada boom, bada bing. There we go. Free matchup. <laughs> just kidding. That is a, a very cool, very cool deck. A lot of pro players are playing this, like I said, at, uh, at LAIC. So let's give it one more spin and see what we can do. Tortoise out here, potentially with another Arceus Diagopalkia deck. And if this deck does take a favorable matchup to Arceus Diagopalkia, that would be pretty meaningful, considering I think that deck is probably one of the top played decks at LAIC. And I'm liking this opening hand already. Uh, that is, you know, we'll see how the order pad buffs out for us, but I do like seeing the beast energy in the opening hand. I do like seeing Mysterious Treasure. We can just go get ourselves the uh, the Miss Magius, evolve it into Mysterious, hopefully with an order pad, and then, you know, get off to a pretty explosive start. We got the Tag Call too. Tag Call engine completely busted in this deck because it just searches us our Pokemon and our draw cards and our switch cards. It literally gets us everything in the deck that we could possibly want. So I do really like that as well. And it's looking like maybe this is an ADP deck featuring Silvalli GX. Silvalli GX is a cool card for um, you know for drawing out of late game uh, reset stamps and things like that. 
and also just great for general consistency. We see that my opponent is playing red and blue, so that is certainly something to uh, to be aware of, that they might be accelerating energy with red and blue and actually attacking with their Silvalli GX. Thankfully, there is no fairy charm or fairy memory that we have to worry about for Silvalli GX, so they're not going to be hitting us for weak weakness or any shenanigans like that we should be in the clear and i do hope that this this turn one is busted i hope we get to really just show off how gassed out this deck can get so let's order up we cannot unfortunate we we are not not doing anything broken <laughs> i think i'm 0 for 3 on order pads i am doing a horrible with those right now but you know but if that was a heads that would have been broken we would have been doing some things. It's cool. All right, we're going to go for the slower approach then and just getting ourselves a couple of, uh, you know, a Cynthia and Caitlyn and probably another Cynthia and Caitlyn. That seems right. So we'll do that. And I am going to have to discard some energy in order to draw more cards. So we'll get rid of the dark. I don't think it really matters. And we've got another order pad. So, you never know. Yeah, actually, we do know. It's Tails. So, that's fine. And maybe we'll do some things next turn. Double Tails on the order pad. Those need to be heads to get ourselves our Dust Stones to really start to pop this deck off. But as we've seen, I am not one with the order pads today. And that's fine. I think we can still win even if we don't get that super turbo explosive start uh, with the order pads. I do have Cynthia and Caitlyn. Uh, I get to draw three more cards next turn. And, you know, it is getting to be about that time, though. You know, my opponent is going to ultimate raid this turn. I do need to attack, I would say, sometime soon. So we cannot allow them to knock out any Guzzlords. That is the name of the game this time around. So that is good to know. Uh, because they have used their altered creation. So we're going to have to really just tank with this one really hard. Um, which is looking like it might be a little bit challenging. <laughs> but that's, that's fine. We'll go here again. And uh, we're going to pass. So next turn, I am going to need to soak this hit. I am going to need to... Hmm. I guess I'm going to Mallow and Lana into a Mistrevious and let them take that knockout. That I can't do that. I guess I can B-String. If I let them take two prizes naturally on one of my Mistrevious. Hmm. This is sketch. But I guess if I find three Pokemon, I can just completely heal it with Violent Appetite. No, it's only one string your turn. Never mind then. I completely retract that statement. So I'm thinking that we are probably just in a horrible position. All right, there's Miss Magius. So this fixes some things because I can blow it up and force the surge, which is good. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to Violent Appetite, heal, and... Then I have to blow this thing up. Very good. And there's another dust stone. Excellent. So this is what we want, what we needed more or less. So now I can dust stone into the other one. Surge Malolana. Got it. Surge, we're going to Mallow and Lana, discarding, I guess, Miss Magius and Surge, Miss Magius and Bills, that's fine, and then we're going to, mysterious message again, so that's fine.
and now we have B strings, I have an order pad, and I get to play one more supporter card. So that's all pretty cool. I mean, now we're like doing some things. This is fun. I think we build analysis and we can get tag call, reset stamp. Seems good. And then I could B string to another Naginate L and Guzzlord. Seems pretty decent. Cool. So we're going to do that. Get these guys out of the deck. I guess these guys out of the deck seems good. Do I have another tag call in the deck? I do. Okay. I actually kind of need Surge, Cynthia, and Caitlyn. And we'll bring back a Malo Alana with Cynthia and Caitlyn and then use that this next turn. So that's kind of what I'm thinking our game plan is. And we got a B string. Oh, well, I'm out of psychic energy. So I'm uh, <laughs> gonna have to find that energy recycle system too. That's cool though, you know? I can potentially just order up for it right now. Yeah, you know, we'll see. No, we can't. Uh, no, we can't. All right, let's stamp. Try to limit my opponent's hands. And we're gonna jet pierce for 210. And hope that they don't heal it too much. Next turn, you know, we can surge. We can Cynthia and Caitlyn. And then we could bring back like a Bill's Analysis or a Mallow and Lana, depending on what we have to do. Probably a Mallow and Lana, since my opponent cannot take a knockout. If they take a knockout, I will lose. So I have to target down this thing and hit it this next turn and hope that they just hope that they don't like heal it with a Malawana. Now if they do heal it with Malawana, they're going to have 90 left. So I guess 210, I do still get there um, with my Beast Bringer too. Even if they Malo and Lana with the, the beast energy, we're doing just enough damage. So I think we're still safe in that regard. Because he's going to have 90 hit points left. 210 plus 90 is still a knockout. So all we have to do is heal, gust, and it's a broken deck. Look at that. We got the other... Oh, there's another dark energy in the deck, though, I think, right? I think there is. I think there is. Let's see. There is one, yes. All right. We're cool, then. I'm going to go here. I can't manually retreat it, though. What if I do 180? 180 is short. Oh, my... 180 is short by 10. Oh, that is sad. Very, very sad. All right, well, let's do Tennis Surge. We've got to Cynthia and Caitlin. And we're going to bring back the Mallow and Lana. Got to. Okay. So what are the stakes here? If I Mallow and Lana into this, and I don't have the Ultra Forest. If I have the Ultra Forest Carton Boy, I could just Mallow and Lana. No. I could, you know, switch. No, I can't switch. So I need the Great Catcher. I might not have enough cards left in deck. We're going to Acrobite and see what we get. There's the Carton Boy. Uh, I feel like if I heal 60, where am I at if I heal 60? I have um, 80 damage on me. That actually seems big. Like bigger. That actually seems like the most important thing. Because the math doesn't add up, right? So I think we violent appetite there. And then... I have 200 hit points left and nothing can one hit KO me. Oh, we're good now. So we go here. 
and I get to gust this and all I have to do is chaotic order GX for game next turn insane deck oh my gosh and we're taking four prizes b springer an absolutely filthy card and i'm not sure if there's anything my opponent is going to be able to do to stop me this deck is wild and you guys have seen i have flipped almost no heads on order pads so imagine if the order pads are buffing out then you're probably just really cruising through this game but i think that the deck's ability to win with only knocking out one pokemon is just so so strong and something that uh, i haven't really seen yet out of uh out of a deck so it's a very unique deck very cool i think this deck makes amazing use of the miss magius engine as well as the tag call engine and is definitely a force to be reckoned with. And that's it. We have the game locked up. My opponent did not have any way to get around my Chaotic Order GX. That is the deck, ladies and gentlemen. Check this thing out. I have it uh, named Guz Daddy here on, uh, on PTCGO. What a cool deck. And uh, big props to jimmy and company for uh playing such a cool deck at the latin american international championships thank you guys all so much for watching the video make sure to let me know what do you guys think of the guzzlord miss magius deck in the comments below make sure to check out full grip games for all your trading card games singles deck boxes sleeves accessories things like that we got the dope full grip games hoodies and shirts available on the website as well supporting the shop directly supports me and the channel also make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com uh, we got instant ptcgo code delivery on fullgripcodes.com and i'm always uploading more codes to the website so make sure to check that out as well and also check out tricky gym on twitch where i stream live every single weekday twitch.tv slash tricky gym hopefully you all are very much enjoying the new pokemon sword and shield games i know i am they are an absolute blast amazing amazing games all in all so you all have an amazing day and i'll catch you hopefully live on stream soon take it easy peace